Welcome back to Spinning the Past. I am about to hand wash this sweater that I was gifted over Christmas. It's been a while. Uh, I just had so many other things I was I had to deal with, including a, an end of care for a pet, end of life care. But I just wanted to show you that um, how to kind of evaluate, even before you buy a sweater, how to evaluate its quality, how to prejudge how it's going to behave in the future and how you need to care for it, etc. So this is a quasi Aran sweater. I've owned genuine Aran sweaters and they are they're so tough that they they're practically like armor. They just stand up. But with age, they loosen up, they get softer and everything. But this comes already soft. This is from I think a merino I think, but it is a very soft wool. I can tell it's just very soft. And when I push into it, it's just very squishy. It's just very soft. But let's go in and actually look at the yarns that are used. So this is a marl yarn. It means there's one dark thread and there's one uh, dark thread and then there's one light thread. You can see those, right? That's part of the same strand of yarn. But look at this. The, what I look at is the twist angle. So straight up and down. So if this were, okay, this would be point zero. So anything away from that is going to be a degree from that. It's a couple of degrees, whatever. So I'm seeing here, let's see, hopefully my camera gets it, is that the twist angle from zero, this we would call 90, but this would be zero, is very shallow. So I'm guesstimating that this is probably about seven, maybe 10 degrees at most. I'm more comfortable knitting with yarns that are like 15 degrees. Something has a little bit more twist in it. And why? Well, because twist is the glue for all yarns. The higher the twist, the more that, that that individual fiber of wool is going to be trapped in that twist. But it makes it feel harsher. The softer the twist, the less degrees of angle, like this is seven, I'm guessing about seven degrees, the softer it will feel, but absolutely the fibers you can see i'm pulling it up i feel the fibers these fibers should be in the twist they shouldn't be on the surface of the sweater because these fibers with use and everything are going to snarl and make pills for you so this is kind of how you can just test in the shop the the quality of a sweater um see what else can we say about this sweater so we we get the softness because of the wool we get the softness because it doesn't have sufficient twist angle it's very loosely spun very loosely applied which makes it feel soft and since softness is what sells and everybody says i want soft i want soft i want soft this is what you get this is going to pill it's not going to last a long time and that's good for them because that means you have to come back and you'll have to buy a new one because this will disintegrate much sooner than with higher twist yarns. The higher twist will again will feel tougher or less soft initially, but over time they do soften. As opposed to when you buy something already soft, then it will not last as long. So think of it as if you bought already broken in pair of shoes. They're going to feel soft and comfortable, but they're not going to last. If you bring buy kind of hard, uncomfortable shoes, once you break them in, after a while, they adapt and they become softer. And they will last much, much longer than those shoes are already broken in. The same way with blue jeans, my good old-fashioned blue jeans back in the day. Yeah, they were stiff in the beginning, but... They be they aged beautifully and they lasted a long time. As opposed to the shredded jeans today, yes, they may be softer and everything, uh, but they, they got holes in the knees and they're just not going to last as long. Again, 
this is kind of what customers want. They want softness. They want these things instant softness. They don't want to break anything in. And then um, this is kind of what you get. This is what you get for it. Aran sweaters should have multiple plies. I believe they should have four or five plies in these threads. So the threads here would be much thinner, but they would, um, but there'd be more of them. More of those plies equals strength. And it would give this much more definition. And those fibers would be trapped in the thread instead of trapped on the surface of this sweater. So when you're shopping, don't always rely on softness. Understand what you're getting. Understand how you're going to have to handle, touch this. This is, I would hand, I would never, never, ever put wool in a washing machine, first of all. But I will definitely treat this very softly as I wear it and as I wash it. So when I say wash, I mean just soak. So when you wash wool, all you're doing is soaking it. And then you're rinsing it. And then you are putting in a towel and then you're going to flat dry. That's what I call washing wool, especially if on a finished product like this. I like my sweater. It was a gift. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, but I, I was also gifted yarn to, to knit my own sweater. And that is a two ply as well. So why did they come in two plies? Because two plies is cheaper. It's faster to make and it's cheaper to make. The more plies, the more times they have to go to the machine, more threads it requires. So all those threads cost money. The individual strands cost money. So they get away with two and then they call it a day. I hope you found this interesting and enlightening. I'm not, not trashing it, but I just, I know what this is. And I know when I come to knitting my own, I will probably spin. I will probably spin it because I want that wool to be really twisted hard so it will last a long time. I'm going to put a lot of effort in spinning and in knitting. And I, I know I need much more twist than this. So uh, thank you for joining me today. And I will catch you next time on Spinning the Past.